welcome back to Stray Trains. On this channel in July of 2023, we looked at the then current status of the Comanche fleet. So, being about a year or so later, I thought it would be worthwhile discussing what's been happening with Melbourne's Comanche fleet consisting of 115 three carriage trains with a mid 2024 update. This video will touch on projects, line running, and retirements. Hope you enjoy the video. Projects Horn Upgrade In the last Comenge update video, we looked at the then new Zolna Horn trials on the 12 appointed Comenge sets. Since then, all RVB horns have been removed by March 28th, 2024. To comply with current standards, meaning all 115 three car Comenge sets have the now normal Zolna horns on both cab ends. This is what the old horn used to look like, and the new current one. No doubt a very sad change, the end of a rather iconic sound across the railways of Melbourne. However, the changes on the Comanche fleet don't stop there. Projects Door Modification With the successful trial of two six-carriage Comanche sets, the rest of the Comanche fleet will be receiving door modifications. With the continuous problem of passengers having the ability to force the doors open, even when they had been locked by the driver, is something that needed to be addressed, as this is a major safety issue, especially when the train is moving. Resultingly, the door opening closing mechanism has been changed. If anyone knows the details, please feel free to explain in the comments below, but essentially the doors are now meant to be locked closed and pressure is required to open them, whereas before the inverse occurred where pressure was required to close them. Here is a before and after example of the door closing. Does it look similar? Yeah, it's hard to tell the difference. Did you notice an extra red lever on the second clip when the modified doors were closing? Another addition to the door modification is the installation of door emergency releases, otherwise known as DER, which can be seen in other Melbourne trains and is a way to know if the Commons train you're on has been upgraded. In fact, the doors look very similar to the ones that we see on the Extrapolis trains. Specified in its name, if for any reason an emergency occurs, the lever can be pulled which will open some of the doors in the train if it is at a safe speed to do so. For obvious reasons, it's not really possible to show an example of the dare in action, and I don't recommend you try it out for yourself unless the situation does arise. You may also notice that there is some stripes on the side of the carriage. This is the only real indicator on the exterior of the comments to know if they have been upgraded with the new door emergency release. Otherwise, all the modifications are internal. At the time of making this video, only the Ulster refurbished comments have received these upgrades. However, in the near future, the EDIs will eventually start receiving them. Line running. Now this would be a great time to clear things up. In the previous video in regards to the June 2024 timetable change, it did not make the claim that Comenge would never run again on the Cross City, which is the Franks and Werribee and Williamstown lines, 
or the Sandringham lines ever again. Nor was it the change as a hard rule per se. Whilst, yes, they are less common, this is all the video is doing, which is pointing out what we are now seeing on certain lines. Think of rostering as a plan. It does not always happen and is only a guide. Due to the unpredictable nature of operating trains, Commons will still run on the Cross City and Strandingham lines, just not as commonly as they once did. Hence the video title in the previous video, Melbourne's Railways Have Just Changed. Whilst in the future it seems Commons will only run on the Upfield and Craggy Bend lines, we are not there yet as of 2024. It appears that most of the Commons are running on the Upfield, Craggy Bend and Sunbury lines as of right now, some on the Franks and Werribee and Williamstown lines. In regards to the Sandringham line, whilst Commons still do run on the line despite technically not being rostered per se, there are plenty of days on the Sandringham line that are just Siemens running. If you take a look at what is generally stabled overnight at Sandringham and Brighton Beach sidings, which are the two sidings on the Sandringham line, it is almost always Siemens. This video was taken on the 29th of July 2024 just to make it perfectly clear that this is a comment running on the Sandringham line past the timetable change. In spite of this, the rate of seen comment on the Sandringham line since the June 2024 timetable change has undoubtedly decreased. Filmed later that day, here is a Werribee service at Brighton Beach with three orange destination headboards. I said it before, I'll say it now and I'll say it again. If you are interested in getting coverage or writing comments on certain lines, let this June 2024 timetable change be a little foreshadow of what to expect in the future, but at a more extreme rate. Another change as well on the Cross City lines is trains heading towards Frankston or Sandringham from either Werribee, Williamstown or Laverton or vice versa. Have the final destination as the headboard seen here with a comminge running towards Flinders Street, and then it will continue on to Frankston. This is a feature that's been on the Siemens and Extrapolis trains for quite a few years now, so it's good to see that the Commons trains have finally got it, although it only appears the EDI refurbs have got them. The Alstom Commons, even if heading onto the other side of town, still remain at Flinders Street until getting to Flinders Street. Retirement well, last video mentioned that despite new high-capacity metro trains entering service, as the Dandenong lines were already 100% rostered by HMTs, the amount in service at one time does not increase. We would need an increase in rostering such as HMTs on the Sunbury line or the introduction of the Extrapolis 2s, which are still a little while away at this point. Whilst yes, there are now two HMTs that run one service each on the Sunbury line during the morning peak times, there are still plenty of excess HMTs. So I reckon that the prediction still stands and we won't see any mass comment retirements for a little while. Moreover, 513-514 M's repairs from the 2023 crash near Yarraville Station on Anderson Street would reiterate that if any retirements were near, this set would have been goners. If I am to guess, not till late 2025 at the earliest, we'll see any retirements, but I wouldn't be surprised if they resume mass retirement in 2026. Most likely, the remaining tread break, EDIs, will get the chop. But I am a big believer in never quite knowing what to expect with the railways, so who knows? Maybe one will go soon rather than later. Since last update video, no comments have been retired, and I suspect that will be the same until next time, assuming another video is made midway through next year. But it really is anyone's guess when a comment will next get retired. I would be very interested to hear your opinion, your theories, predictions in the comments below about what you think is going to happen with the comment retirement, as 
Despite all these topics covered in the video, it is safe to say that the comment retirement topic is maybe the of greatest interest. With that in mind, if you are interested in comments trains, snap them up, ride them whilst you can, and whilst there are still over a hundred in service, because they can be gone at any moment. Thank you so much for watching, hope you've enjoyed the video and the update on the current status of Melbourne's Comeng fleet, and I think we'll leave it at that. Cheers.